What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel here at Jay's Candle Corner. It is your boy, Jay. Hi, and today I have for you a very lovely special haul for you. This is my first time being able to pick up one of the uh, Sunday samplers from Glitterati. And for those that's been around for a little for a little while, you know that I also was able to get on her customs list. Um, what was it last year? I believe it was last year, two years ago. And um, that was a that was an experience that I <laughs> cherish. I'm hopeful. <clears throat> hopefully, it'll happen again one day. But until then, um, and you guys know that I'm not really big on mystery boxes because I'm a very particular guy when it comes to my wax and my scents, and mystery boxes kind of scare me. But I figured, you know, let's just see what happens. Let me just grab one of these boxes. And when I tell you these boxes are like, it's it, it's tough. You know, you got to be quick, swift. And when, you know what I'm saying? So you can't be lollygagging and dilly-dallying when it comes to these boxes, okay? You got to get in, you got to get out, and then you can breathe. So <laughs> let's just um, get on into what I got here. So we're going to start with the cups first and then go into the chunks and then the uh, mini loaf and each sunday sampler comes with uh six um six cups uh six chunks and one mini loaf so let's dive on into what i got the first cup we have here is um excuse me uh sir <laughs> okay <laughs> this is uh palo santo and halloween punch beautiful like orangish yellow wax here. Very like school bus yellow, I guess you could say. Mm. This is very nice. I don't know what Halloween punch is, but I will put it in the description below. Mm. It's very, it's very juicy, it's very sweet, but that Palo Santo really adds this nice woodsy undertone to it. Very nice, very, very nice gonna plop that bad boy right there the next we have up is uh strawberry kiwi island nectar and azure sands i think i'm saying that right azure I don't <laughs> that. beautiful blue wax here oh this is nice you definitely get that azure sands and that island nectar first Ooh. The strawberry kiwi is very subtle, but it has a nice touch of this fruity background, like background to it. That's very nice, very crisp, crisp and clean, oddly enough, but I like that, so. All right. Next up we have here is blackberry sugar musk, which is toasted vanilla, sugar, blackberry, flannel, and white musk. Beautiful purple wax here very gorgeous oh this is really pretty oh this is my first time ever having this um this scent before this is very nice you definitely get that toasted vanilla sugar and that blackberry mm. the white the, the white musk is very subtle but it adds this this coziness to it mm. and the flannel is is there but he's shy. He's a shy flannel. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. I might save that for the fall. I like that a lot. Next up we have is a fresh peach, white cake, and vanilla ice cream. This is in a nice pastel-y peach orangey color. Ooh. Okay. This is very nice. Now you guys know I'm not really big on bakery go nonsense, but this is very nice. Think of like, think of like a peach cake with vanilla ice cream. That's really good. That's really good. My lid has dropped. Hold on. Okay. okay. So now we got that out of the way. Put that bad boy right there. Next up we have is a Palo Santo, Lou's Bakery, and Toasted Marshmallow. Lou's Bakery is like a very popular uh, blend of hers. This is like a very much a fan favorite. Ooh. Palo Santo, Palo Santo just adds this nice 
subtle smoky woodiness to that everything. This is very cozy. It's a very cozy, warm bakery scent. Very fall. Mmm. I just, yeah, that smells good. I don't know why I always, like, think of fall with Palo Santo, but it just has this, like, fall essence, if that makes any sense. So, last cup we have is Coconut Lime Breeze and Giggles, which is a clary sage, citrus, and bergamot. Beautiful a lime green color. Ooh, ooh. Very crisp and very vibrant. I won't say sharp, but you definitely get that sage and that citrus and tied with that coconut lime breeze. I could get a loaf in this. Oh my. Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Very green, very just like, like it's breezy and just, ooh, okay. I'm gonna do the chunks next. So first one we have up is cashmere plum, which is plum, amber, sugar, vanilla, musk, and cashmere woods. Look at that beautiful buddy right there. Gorgeous, is he not? Oh, beautiful. Mm. This is very pretty. This is a very pretty plum scent. You definitely get the cashmere woods in that plum. Uh, and the amber is right underneath that plum. Where it adds like this warmth to the amber. I mean to the plum. Oh. That's so pretty. It's sweet. It's warm. It's, it's kind of sexy too. Mmm. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. It reminds me of a of a body care from Bath and Body Works. I can't think of the name right now. It, it, it was a plum something. Next up we have here is Palo Santo and Blackberry Amber. Look at that beauty. I love these chunks. Beautiful colors. Oh, yes. Oh yeah. Again, saving it for the fall. It's very fall forward to me. It's a very warm fall scent. Mmm, that black bay amber is gorgeous. First time smelling that before. Very pretty. Ooh. You get the amber first and then the Palo Santo. And the blackberry is not like that juicy blackberry. It's more like a blackberry leaf, like blackberry like vine. Oh, that's gorgeous. Love that. Next up we have is one of her other cult favorites, Tropical Pistachio. Very pretty orange and green. Kind of reminds me of like, um, for some reason that this reminds me of the Mystery Machine. I don't know why. <laughs> oh. Now I've never had anything pistachio in wax, so I can't really say what that smells like in terms of anything else but it's very tropical fruit forward there is this like nuttiness it's not like a peanut it's just like this very buttery nuttiness tied in with that tropical aspect very interesting i like it though i very much do like that that could be a great blender with like other bakery forward uh blends really nice next we have a lemon, I mean, oh, wow, a uh, lavender and lemon verbena. I was close. A blend that's definitely up my alley. You guys know I love my lavender and my lemon, and my lemon verbena. You know I do. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, yes. Lemon verbena and lavender is like my all time go to combination. Oh. And then add an apple to it, like add it on um, like, like, like a mac apple or a blackberry. Ooh. Any kind of fruit added to like these two, top tier. Oh, that smells beautiful. Very vibrant and bright, very breezy and aromatic. Ah, beautiful. Love that. 
Next up we have is Purple Rain, which is also a fan favorite, which is Black Raspberry Vanilla and Chardonnay. Beautiful, look at that. This is strong too. Ooh, you definitely get that Black Raspberry Vanilla. I mean, heavy, heavy. And that Chardonnay adds this nice crispness to it. Mm. Not dry, but just a nice crisp undertone to that black raspberry. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love that. God, that smells good. Nice. Very nice. And the last cup we have here is pink orchid and amber. Beautiful color. Colors. This is more on the feminine side. It's not overly floral, but it's definitely like leaning towards like that feminine body care type of essence. It's more heavy on the pink orchid, which is very, it's, it's, it's a very sweet floral. But the amber really adds to that feminine tone. Very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. I might give this to somebody because it's a little bit too feminine for my liking but it does really smell good. And then for my mini loaf, I have here, um, you guys, there we go. I have here lavender, strawberry, mac apple, cotton candy, and pink sugar. All the things I enjoy. I'm not the biggest pink sugar fan. I tend to avoid it, <laughs> but. This is, this is right in my alley. Again, lavender and fruit is my thing. You definitely get that. I think I get the mac apple first, then the strawberry. Then the lavender, then the pop of that pink sugar. The, the cotton candy is there, but it's very subtle. It's right underneath that strawberry and mac apple though. But it blends into that pink sugar so beautifully. Oh, oh that's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous blend. So that's everything, guys. That was my Sunday sampler that I I received this only a couple days ago. Um, what's today? It is now um, Wednesday, I believe. And I got this on, uh, I want to say, Monday, this past Monday. So that was my Sunday sampler. Let me do that right there a little bit of that there we go that was my sunday sampler everyone um if you got one this past uh week or so uh let me know if you did what you got and uh yeah i got some more hauls coming up for you very soon so look forward to that video to those videos coming up and until next time i love you all take care have a great weekend and i will catch you guys later bye